Hey everybody, Jim here, and guess what? Uh, today we're taking a look at the Evangelion shop here in uh, the Marui building in uh, Shinjuku. I was actually here today as we take a look at some of these cool figures and other things. This is all just display stuff right here, uh, but you can buy all of these things. Um, but these are kind of like the uh, examples of what you're getting as we take a look at them. And they're pretty cool. Nice high quality figures for the Evangelion fan. Uh, I was here actually uh, to go to Sudagaya. I just wanted to look for some video games. And then I noticed, hey, there's all kinds of other cool stuff in here. Uh, and one of those things was this Evangelion shop. Which uh, I don't know how long it's going to be open. I'm thinking these are more along the lines of pop-up shops because there was also, there's a Star Wars pop-up shop there now, a Marvel pop-up shop, and a Toho Animation pop-up shop as well. So this is another place uh, outside of Akihabara where cool pop-up shops uh, can be found. And uh, so I was like, oh, cool. Because I know I've got some anime fans in the audience. I am one of them. And I, uh... Well, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Evangelion fan ever. I have watched some of it and enjoyed it. So we're looking at all kinds of stuff. Eva Evangelion branded uh, glasses and glasses cases and things. Uh, but they did have a lot of cool stuff in here. So there was, you know, obviously we took a look at some figures earlier. And they've got t-shirts and apparel and things like this. Books and uh, other various things. Evangelion Millennials. So that's cool. This, uh... The Beast shirt, made to look like the Beatles logo. Uh, that's pretty cool as well. Uh, so, uh, when uh, things like this come up, um, anime that I'm at least familiar with, because uh, there's a lot of anime these days, uh, as we have a look at some cool gachapon, I guess those are like buttons and stuff inside those, those gachapon. Um, and all these t-shirt designs are just awesome. Um, but whenever an anime pop-up shop springs up that I am familiar with the anime. I always want to go and check it out. Like, they had some of those more, like, retro mecha anime shops in Akiba, like Megazone 2, 3, and uh, some other ones. I, I definitely want to go and have a look at those. Because, uh, more than anything, I am a, uh, more of a retro anime fan, 80s and 90s in particular. Look at these, uh, jackets. They are awesome. I love, uh, the designs on them. They're very Japanese. And these, in particular, these cool jackets. I like this one. Uh, this one is um, my favorite of the jackets they had. And we can take a look at the uh, very cool uh, design on the back. Uh, again, very, very uh, Japanese-y. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, so, yeah, I like, uh, you know, finding interesting little items like that. These kinds of things that are... I don't, I don't know if they're going to be sold outside of this shop. I mean, maybe there's like an online store somewhere you can go to. Or maybe they'll pop up on Amazon or eBay. I'm not sure. Uh, Evangelion Clock. That's pretty cool. Um, but I always like coming into these pop-up shops. Ties. Get yourself a nice Evangelion branded necktie. And uh, show people not only that you are a uh, professional but that you love you some anime. Um, backpacks and various things. Yeah, the, the kinds of items that you can come across in these places is usually pretty cool, because there's always like the typical stuff, right? The uh, figures and uh, acrylic things, incoming subject, unknown item, that's pretty cool. Did you catch a glimpse of me in the uh, reflection back there? Extra scruffy looking today. That's why I was not on camera. I love this uh, this art design here. Very cool. So if you've got like 400 bucks, you can buy some of this artwork, jewelry, more ties and things. Some for the um, for the more discerning Evangelion fan among us, uh, and they have a little bit of Evangelion going on a monitor there, so you can watch and enjoy. And if you don't know what an Evangelion is, you can just look at that and have some kind of frame of reference, I guess. Mug Costanza. I'm sorry. I know I say that every time can't help it at this point but we got our phone cases we got our mugs we've got other cool things we've got me again <laughs> extra scruffy in the mirror you'll have to forgive me 
And uh, let's move right along. This is very nice. All the uh, the uh, central cast of Evangelion dressed in their nice uh, spring clothes. It's not spring yet. But uh doesn't mean we can't uh, look forward to it. Some plushy things, nice stuff like that. I'm looking forward to spring. It is uh, freezing cold right now. And I'm looking forward to those cherry blossoms and uh, a little bit more uh, warmer weather. But we've got mugs. We've got uh, stationary file protectors. That's a thing that is always uh, present in like every pop-up shop I've ever been to. File protectors. Are people that... Uh, you know, likely to use those things for their to protect their files. Uh, this I thought was pretty cool. We've got some Evangelion mineral water, shaped like a, like a woman's torso, which is kind of weird. It's just the torso, no arms or legs. What are you, some kind of freak? Why do you just have a woman's torso here? Uh, kind of thing you'd find under some floorboards somewhere. Uh, but we got some other cool stuff here. We've got some uh, like chocolates. And uh, other kinds of, like, candy and just Evangelion-branded um, snacks and candies and things. And that's cool. Who doesn't love them? Some um, some delicious anime-branded snacks, candies, chocolates, etc. These things, I'm not 100% sure. I guess they're, like, little chibi Evangelion characters in, like, little fuzzy suits. I have no idea why that is. Uh, but we got some pillows and uh, other various things. And that's not all uh, as we continue on. Because it's, you know, it's a pop-up shop. It's not huge, but they work with the space they got. And we've got uh, lots of stuff here. I mean, there's like uh, postcards and things and, you know, just, just cool little designs. Um, a lot of the stuff, I, I don't know. I don't have it seen any of it anywhere else, so I guess it's all exclusive to this shop. Maybe there are other Evangelion shops around. I don't know, not sure. We got some ink pens. We got some notepads. In case, you know, if you gotta take some notes and you love you some Evangelion, there you go. More file protectors. And, you know, for, for a file protector, I mean, the artwork is like, it's really good. I don't know, I I don't think I would want to protect files with it, like, you buy this file protector and then you gotta protect the file protector because the artwork is so cool. I heard you liked file protectors, so I put a file protector inside your file protector. I'm sorry I said file protector so many times. Uh, and calendars. I like the cool little 8-bit designs there, that's, that's pretty cool. And uh, other various things. They had posters, wall scrolls, uh, more uh, phone cases. And, uh, that's all very nice. Um, other random things. Little keychains, acrylic figures. That's it. That's the other thing you'll find in every pop up shop ever. The file protectors, the little acrylic standee figure type things. And uh, yeah, this wall scroll with that same design. Uh, very cool. That'll look good on anybody's wall. Absolutely. And it's like another mug, things like that. And just a little bit more stuff. Uh, as we've got some books, because why not? I mean, it is Evangelion. You want to have some manga available in there. This uh, very nice big Evangelion art book, 2007 to 2017. Uh, it was uh, a big thick one, so there's going to be a lot of stuff in there. Uh, these postcards are pretty cool because um, they look like production art, uh, which is uh, nice. There's actually a place in Nakano where you can go and buy actual anime production art, which I'll have to do a video on later. As we look at some more of the figures that they have available here. And, uh, yeah, I like that. Again, I don't have any room for figures, but... If I did Evangelion, that's uh, one series where, like, the mechs and everything, and they're just made to be turned into cool figures because their designs are just so, uh, so awesome. The the mechs and the monsters, the characters. Evangelion, definitely a very visually striking series. Uh, anyway, that's it for this little pop-up shop. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check it out if you're in town, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.